In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a batch rendered from Maya into Adobe Premiere 2022. In the previous video on my channel, I did show you how to batch render out of Maya. So this video is going to just focus on actually getting the batch directly into Premiere Pro. Now, I'm assuming you're familiar with Premiere Pro that you know to make a new Premiere Pro project, choose where you're going to store it, and then you're ready to actually begin the import process. Importing a batch is actually pretty easy in Adobe Premiere Pro. It uses what is called a sequence. So what you're going to want to do is we're going to go into File and we're going to go to Import. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on the first graphic of my overall batch render here. And with that, it may not already select for you, but down kind of right here in the left, it's a little hard to see on the gray, you're going to have something that call, says image sequence. And what you're going to want to do is just click on that. You do not need to click on any other files once you've clicked on that. You just need to click on the first image in the entire batch. What Premiere is going to do is it is now going to go through and look for the subfiles or the subsequent batch files and follow through with those until it cannot find any more files that share the name and counting schema. And all I'm going to do is say open. And then what I'm going to get here is inside of my project here, it's actually put together here the entire project for me. So all I need to do here is just drag and drop and I'm going to tell it to change the sequence settings so that it matches my sequence. And now if I hit the space bar, you can see that it played through my animation. Again, very short animation. I only did 60 frames for this. The last item to remind you of is you're going to want to go to the sequence itself, which again has the little different icon there as far as showing you the timeline examples. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose to export the media. This is the final step in the publication process. So I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to leave it on the defaults and I'm going to go ahead and click. I'm going to choose my desktop and I'll call this demo batch premiere. One nice thing about doing this, just as a side note, notice that I could have added audio if it was a longer batch. Also now I could actually take the project and pull it into After Effects if I like. But for right now, I'm going to export out the video. It was a short enough video. I didn't have to worry about too much. And there's my video on my desktop. And if I double click it, you can now see my exported video play. And that's the process using Adobe Premiere.